Hi everyone! Welcome to a drawing lesson from Slime Sam! Today, Sue and I are going to tell you about easy watercolor techniques. Hello! Yes, there are a lot of fun ways to use watercolors, and today I'm going to show you eight of my favorite techniques. What's good about them? They are perfect for beginners or any skill level. You can try one or two of these ideas or make your own page of all eight techniques. I've used a pencil and a ruler to measure out eight rectangles on my watercolor paper. Then I labeled each box with each technique to know where's which. It's a good idea to let each box dry completely before moving on to a new technique. You can even use a hair dryer for that. Are you excited? I know I am. Guys, which kinds of paints do you like using? Write in the comments below. The first technique is watercolor and salt. Here's some salt for you. Thanks. I'm getting started. First, you need to cover the selected area with the colors of your choice. I'll take two colors, blue and azure. Like this. The more water you use when coloring, the more interesting the effect will be. So don't be shy with it. Then you need to sprinkle the drawing quickly with salt. This should be enough. And leave it to dry. Right, let's see. You need to flake away the salt carefully like this. Let's dust off the excess. See how unusual it looks? And very simple. Oh, this is my favorite technique. Second technique. Let's fill the next box with color. And we'll use a lot of water again. Here's your next tool! Yes, Sammy. Thanks. We'll take a tissue and crumple it well. Now we need to place it on our colored box and press it lightly with our hands. Now let's dry the paint a little bit. But don't leave it for too long or the tissue will stick. I think it's done. Carefully now. There! Wow! It's just a tissue but it leaves such beautiful patterns. For the third technique, we're using rubbing alcohol. I have it here. We need to cover our box with watercolors. Let's take these bright colors. Oh, I love drawing with watercolors. Now it's time for some magic. We'll take a Q-tip and dip it in the alcohol. You need to drip alcohol on the watercolor and you'll get these amazing patterns. And a bit more. Done! Wow! It looks like a galaxy! Guys, if you think it looks like a galaxy too, give it a thumbs up! Moving along. For the fourth technique, I'm going to use a white crayon. First, I need to draw a pattern with the crayon. Uh, a white crayon on white paper? Yep, it isn't easy, but if you tilt the paper just a bit, you'll be able to see your drawing. Right, now the watercolors. We'll cover the wax drawing. See? It starts to peek through! Wax resists watercolors, and the paper remains white underneath. Susie! This technique is my favorite! Are you sure? Not the first one? Oh, I don't Everything is so beautiful. Could it get any prettier? You'll see. Guys, there are four more techniques left. Don't forget that it's better to allow each drawing to dry before moving on to the next one. The fifth technique is fun splatter. This technique is really fun, but a bit messy. So I'll cover the rest of the paper. Now I'll dip the brush into the paint really well and tap the brush against my fingers. Awesome! But one color is obviously not enough. We'll also take this one. And this one. Then remove the protective paper. Wow! How filthy! This looks like kind of funny! <laughs> yep! The sixth technique is simply mesmerizing. Will you need anything special for it? Hmm, no, Sammy. Just a brush, some water, and watercolors. 
Let's start with the base color. I'll take yellow. So happy and sunny. And while it's still wet, let's take another color. Red! And carefully drip it a few times on the wet drawing. You need patience here, so go slowly. Oh, it's as if the fire flowers are blooming! Well, Sammy, perhaps this is your favorite technique? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Two more left. For the seventh technique, we'll need a bit of plastic wrap and some patience. It starts in the usual way, we'll color in the box. Let's take a few colors that match well. Like this. Now I'll place the wrap carefully over it. The wrap should be crumpled here. Don't try to smooth it out. Like this. And now we need to wait for about an hour. It's been about an hour, and we can remove the wrap from the drawing. Oh, Sue, it looks like stained glass! Yeah, it actually does! Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree. The last technique is very interesting. We'll use the transparent nature of the watercolors. We'll start with the lightest shade and draw a few shapes, like this, all over the box. Before moving on to the next stage, we need to leave the drawing to dry. Now let's repeat the same shapes, but with a darker shade. There. Let's leave it to dry again. And the last one. Very bright. Look! We get a sort of dimensional effect. Done! Sue! Sue, I don't know! I like all of them! I can't choose! Then don't! You can draw with each technique one after another. Guys, which one do you like best? Write in the comments! Give these wonderful techniques a try and create watercolor masterpieces! And subscribe to our channel if you want to see more drawing lessons from Slime Sam. Uh, um. And his friend Sue. <laughs> bye bye! Hello guys! Today I prepared for you seven unusual drawing methods. We'll use the most ordinary home items. For example, a colander, which you can find in any kitchen. Why is the mop on the table, Sue? I'm going to draw a picture with it. I believe more that Fluffy would draw a picture with his paws. But this? Why? It's going to be fun. And the viewers will help me choose the best picture. Right, guys? Oh, there's even plastic wrap! Oh, well, I'm not going to be part of this. Sam, let's start creating! Without me this time! To draw the first picture, we need a white canvas. And beautiful colors like these. Huh, one seems to be missing. Cat! I thought you wouldn't notice. Now let's apply the paint. We will alternate colors. Like this. You can choose your favorite bright colors, guys. I'm taking yellow, blue, green, and red. It seems here I should be more careful. Okay, one more. That's it! Now we have many multicolored worms. But I like it. What are we gonna do with these worms? I need a cake spatula. Like this. I'll use it to spread our paints on the canvas. Quite handy. Wow, that's awesome! Colors are mixing so cool! Well, if you use this spatula to spread a cake, it would be more cool. Let's smear the paints more. And open our palette here and here. And just a little bit more. Now let's add some more color. 
I'm using this one to add some bright accents to our picture here. And here. Done! See? How easy, simple, and beautiful it is! If you like our first drawing made with a cake spatula, write in the comments! While we continue creating! Hi, hi, what are you doing? <laughs> you probably already guessed that for the second drawing we need a hair dryer. And a black canvas like this. Wow, now that's really interesting. Let's begin applying paints on the canvas. This time, I'm just pouring different colors into one another. Don't be afraid to experiment. On top, I'm putting some white paint for contrast. This way. And the finishing composition with gray color. This is already very nice. Why do we need a hair dryer? You see, can you plug it in, please? Be right there. Wow, it reminds me of a colorful sea. Well, how do you like the idea? It's just magical. I guess I'll vote for the hair dryer, Sue. Don't rush, I have plenty of great ideas. Ooh, I want to draw too! Sam, this method is just for you. Really? I'm ready. But you don't need this brush. We need to make bright brush strokes of different colors on the canvas. The main thing is to take beautifully matching colors. Even a slime can make such a masterpiece. Wow, these colors! I love it so much! Now we're gonna mix paints with this tool. Carefully sliding from the top down the canvas. Unusual! I'll even leave these white gaps on the canvas. Ew, this drawing looks like a colorful river. You're right, and I really like this colorful river. So, what are we going to draw next? Let's see. Well, well, Sam, are you ready to get the mop dirty? I always thought mops are for cleaning, not the opposite. Today, the mop is our brush. Let's mix two colors. And now let's dip our huge brush into the paint. Ah, uh, with this brush, you can paint the whole house. Let's start our delightful craft. Okay, now let's add some more color. Wow, this method is easier than I thought. Our drawing reminds me of a field. How about adding some flowers? Great idea! Now it looks like a real landscape painting! I should probably suggest new ideas more often. If they involve flowers, I'm all for it. Guys, if you love drawing flowers just like Sue loves them, vote for this drawing in the comments! Listen, why do we need this plastic wrap? Oh, I'm gonna need it for the next method. I've already started applying the paints onto the canvas, spreading them with broad strokes like this. Don't be afraid to go over the borders and mix the colors. Yes, and now I'm gonna add some water. And the more we add, the better. Here we go! 
Why do we need the plastic wrap? You're right on time. We're going to place the plastic wrap over the drawing. Are you sure? Of course. Look at the effect. Woohoo! Carefully taking the plastic wrap off the canvas. You mean you think space looks like this? Oh, come on! Let's just announce the voting and continue the drawing! Guys, this is the fifth drawing we made today. Choose which one you like most of all and write in the comments. Finally, my long-awaited drawing method. And my favorite, by the way. Let's carefully fill the cup with paint. Sue, hurry up! I can't wait to pour it all through the colander! Sam, it's highly important to mix the colors properly. Otherwise, it won't work. I'm adding colors one by one this way. Now we should place the colander in the middle of the canvas. And pour the paint. Let the magic begin. Now we need to help the paint reach the borders of the canvas. <laughs> you can get dirty, but it's worth it. It seems the colander did a great job. I agree. Do you mind if I put this picture in my room? Go on, hang it, and let's draw our last picture. Guys, our final drawing will be about waves. Sea waves! Cardboard! But first, I'm making lots of colorful wavy lines. By the way, Sam, could you please bring the cardboard? Take it! Even if I still don't know how I can help you. It's very simple. Main rule is to not take your hands off the canvas with the paint. So neat. Uh, I mean, wavy. Yes, drawing with cardboard is such a pleasure. was our last drawing method for today. Now it's up to you to vote and choose the best picture in the comments. Let's remind our viewers the drawings we made today. I'm already on my way to read your comments. Bye, guys! Sam, wait for me! Sam, looks like a paper factory explosion. I'm trying to draw a picture, but it's not going so well. Well, you need lots of practice to learn to draw well. I agree. I used up a whole pack of paper. And do you know what paper is made of? Uh, tooth powder, I think. <laughs> Why? It's white and smells so nice. <laughs> no, Sam. Paper is made out of wood. Holy cannoli! I had no clue this beautiful white paper was made of trees. It is. To get one ton of paper, you need about 17 adult trees. That's about 400 packs of regular office paper. And I've used a whole pack. Yes, and a tree usually grows for 30 to 40 years. But Sue, you said it yourself. I need to practice drawing. How can I draw without paper? Sam, I've got an awesome idea how to help you and our viewers. What idea? 
let's make a reusable canvas and you'll be able to erase failed drawings many times over. <gasps> awesome sauce! And as Walt Disney used to say, I don't have bad or failed actors. I simply erase them. I'll be just like the great Uncle Disney. <laughs> we'll see about that. First, let's clean our table from your failed masterpieces. <laughs> hey guys, let's help Sam with his art. Give him a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to the channel, and bring your friends along. Okay. First, we'll need a bowl. Hi! I barely got out of the bag. <sighs> You're so clumsy sometimes, Sam. Next, we'll pour a tablespoon of cement into the bowl. Hmm. Are we going to build our canvas? No, Sam. We'll be making a magical mixture for our canvas. Phew! And I thought I'd grow old before I get my canvas. You'll get it, Sam. Next, we need to mix the cement and water making sure there aren't any clumps. Oh, hurry up, Sue! I'm afraid our cement will harden! Don't worry, Sam, it won't. Next, we'll add half a glass of black latex paint to our cement mixture. Sue, why is the paint black? Paper is white, you know! <laughs> well, that's one more secret. We need to stir the paint in our magical mix very well. Hey, uh, Sam, there's an empty frame on the fireplace. Could you fetch it? Hmm, sure thing, Sue. Sam, I thought it was an empty frame. How did Mr. Disney's photo get in there? He's my idol now. <laughs> That's a great idol to look up to. Next, we need to get the glass out of the frame. Now be very careful with the glass, guys. Don't cut yourselves. Now, we need to apply our mixture onto the glass evenly. And then, let it dry. <sighs> Lights, camera, action! Yeah. <laughs> and cut! Oh, bad. Very bad. This won't do. Where's the acting? Those sparkles in your eyes. Oh. Sam, will you stop kissing the photo and help me with the canvas? <sighs> I'm sorry, Sue. I was daydreaming. Uh, what's next? <sighs> next, we need to cover the glass with the second layer of the mixture. Mr. Disney, what an interesting canvas I've made! Uh, who made it? Uh, no, no, you've made it, Sue, as an assistant. <sighs> right, the glass is dry now, and we'll return it back to the frame. I'll place it carefully back and cover it with the cardboard again. Wow, this is Malavik's black square! <laughs> yep! It was a black square, and now it's a magical canvas with drawings. <laughs> Holy cannoli! And the amazing thing is that you can erase the drawings you don't like over and over again. Guys, send us your photos or videos with your drawings on a canvas just like this. And Sam and I have prepared a surprise for the most original artist. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button, too. And bring your friends, of course. Mr. Disney and I will select the most worthy artist. Bye, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> yep, a little bit more there. And, uh, Water! Here's some water for you, Mr. Oh, Artist. Holy cannoli! 
Is this for me, Sue? Yes, Sam. A surprise from me to you. Thank you, dear Sue. Good morning, Mother Nature! Hop, hop, go! No thunderstorm can stop Sam the Fearless! Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, who's there? Come out, I'm not scared of you! Sammy, it's me! So you really scared me! What are you doing here? I decided to go on a hike. Oh, wow, you have a real forest here! A tent and even a real campfire? What? A battery? Interesting. It's to create the right atmosphere. Looks amazing. Do you know what you're missing, Sammy? What? Come, I'll show you. Oh, what's she up to again? Hi, guys. Today we're going to make something very interesting. Hi, everyone. Sue promised me to draw a landscape. Right. And we'll do it using different painting techniques. Sue, is this a spatula? Are you gonna build something again? <laughs> no, Sammy. It's an art tool. It's called a palette knife. And here's the canvas we're going to paint on. Let's squeeze out the first color. Now let's start with the blue sky. Paint in broad strokes using a brush like this. Look, it's very easy. And now, let's blend the paints with a bigger brush. There we go! Let's continue working on our painting. It's time for the palette knife. Oh, it's getting really interesting. Hmm. I didn't know you could paint with a spatula. Oh, Sammy, a joke told twice doesn't become twice as funny. If it's funny for me, it's funny for everyone. Whatever, we'll fix it. The first layer is already set so we can remove the drop with a wet wipe like this. It's time to blend everything again. Don't rush. The most important thing here is quality, not the speed. Let's take some white paint with a palette knife and cover the mountaintops with snow. A lot of snow. Oh, this painting makes me want to go hiking too. make the peaks look more realistic. And this one a little higher. All right, here comes the trick, guys. We'll use two colors at once. Palette Blade, you are back in business. Guys, do you want to see why we did that? Here comes the magic. Let's blend these slopes carefully. See? 
We got mysterious and quite magical shades. Now we'll use the fan brush. We use it to dab the feet of our mountains. This will be a very dense forest, though it doesn't look like it at the moment. We did great. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree with me. Let's add the white paint using the palette blade and separate two parts of the forest. Then we'll blend it again. This will be the reflection. And now it will get even more interesting. Does it remind you of something? When are you gonna finish? I can't wait anymore! Sammy, be patient. Just a little more. By the way, how do you like it? Huh. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go eat some Nutella. Now let's apply the paint to the bottom corners using this tapping technique. Time to work with the palette knife again. All right, cool. Let's add some white strokes here. And here. Oh, I forgot about clouds. Let's make them fluffy, tapping the brush like this. So just some final touches are left. I can't imagine forests and mountains without birds. I can feel that atmosphere. Sammy, what do you say? Oh, very beautiful. I'd like to put my tent there. Oh, thanks. Guys, if you like the video too, give a thumbs up. See you soon. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss our new video. Bye, everyone. Pencils, pastels, paints. Uh, hi! What are you doing? Trying to figure out what you're doing. As if you can't tell, I'm creating masterpieces. Oh, I see. So put that down! It's a sketch of my future masterpiece canvas. You didn't say please. Oh, please, Sue. Don't get in the way of my masterpiece. Please leave. Come on. Well, all right. Oh, no! It's a Catastrophe! Sue, so how could you? Oh, I'm so sorry, Sammy. It was an accident, but you can paint a new one, right? After all this? No! My inspiration is stolen! Now all I can see is eternal creative crisis and the bird of yen! Hi, guys! Oh, what to do now? Sammy is so upset. I need to think of a way to get Sam's inspiration back and quick. What inspires you? Comment below. Perhaps something will be good for Sam. <gasps> oh, I have an idea! My career as an artist finished before it even begun! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Nobody will need me now. <laughs> Guys, maybe you still need me. Could you subscribe, please, and hit the bell button? It might comfort Sammy, you. Sammy, I know what else can comfort you. Oh, you again? Came to ruin something else? No, no. I know one way that can still inspire you and bring your artistic skill to the next <laughs> level. There is no way to do it. You spilled black paint all over my artistic talent. There is, Sammy. Please give me a chance. Mm, well, all right. I'll give you one more chance. Thank you. First, let's complete the process of covering your drawing with black paint. Mm. Oh, no! I want you to stop Sammy, it. it's okay. <gasps> Calm down. Everything will be all right. Oh, well, fine. We need to cover the whole paper evenly. Oh, no. I can't watch. Are you sure you're all right? And you're not trying to create Malkovich's rectangle? No. Square, Sammy. A what? Malkovich square. Uh, but it's a rectangle. Really, Sue, you don't seem right in the head today. No, Sam, it's the name of the painting, Malkovich's black square. But I'm making something different. Oh, now I'm starting to get it. Yeah, no, no, I don't get it. You'll see soon enough. It's pretty magical. All right, the paper is completely covered with paint, so now we need to dry it. I'm coming, coming! Oh, dry faster! Come on! Sam, maybe we just need to leave the paper alone. Oh, fine. Done, Sammy! The paint is dry! Coming! Oh, the paint is dry, but the drawing still looks hopelessly ruined! Now for the most important step. Here, look! Uh, a scratchy thingy? Yes, and it will help me do this. Oh, what is this miracle? <laughs> Keep watching. with oil pastels, right? Yes. And then we covered it with acrylic paint. Yes. And when the paint dried, it was easy to scratch away the top layer and draw something. Holy cannoli! I need to start creating in this new style right away! I need to think of exhibitions, workshops, all so much to do! <laughs> Good luck! Hey guys, did you like this new way of drawing? Give a thumbs up if you did, subscribe, and try to create your own masterpiece at home! Bye bye I'll improve something of yours, too! There they are! Charge! was me, Ginger, a huge whale, an alien, and even Peter! Okay, Mr. Sammy, the picture of your dream is ready. You can have a look. Oh, Sue, this drawing is amazing! Just like it was in my dream, but... What is it, Sammy? Don't you like it? Sue, my dream was unbelievably bright and colorful. It was fantastic! Well then, Sammy, I invite you to our craft table. Let's add color to this drawing. So, do hamsters see colorful dreams? I'm not sure, Sammy. Hi, guys. Today, Sam had an interesting dream, and we're going to make it really bright. Here you go, Sue. Thanks, Sammy. We'll start the outline from the upper left corner and steadily go down. Let's get started.
me. Does everyone see such bright dreams like I do? <laughs> no, Sammy. It appears that 12% of people in our world see only black and white dreams. I got it. It means that every night they watch a black and white movie. Sammy, what's your guess? What kind of dreams does our ginger have? Guys, I think that he dreams of you giving thumbs up to our videos, so don't forget to do it this time! The outline is ready! Now we'll use some magic and proceed with the coloring! Ah! Uh, <laughs> on this side, we'll have markers of warm shades. Snap! And here are all the cold shades! Huh. I see what does that mean, cold and warm shades? All cold shades usually contain something bluish in them. While the warm shades usually have something yellowish, you know? Dolly style, don't you think so? Hmm, what an interesting thought, Sammy. I believe that if Salvador Dolly lived in this time, he would defo draw pictures like this. Guys, I'd call this style surrealism. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, Sammy. That's a great idea, but. Don't you want to make your own contribution to our drawing? Sure, Sue. I'll be happy to participate in the creative process, but first I need to eat something tasty. I can't work properly without sweets. <laughs> ah, art is always amazing. That's what the great master Sam said. <laughs> huh. I guess it looks cool. Sue, you're back! Uh, I just finished here! Great job, Sammy! By the way, I noticed that your dream is many things connected to music. <laughs> Why do you think that happened? That's because I can't imagine my life without music and dancing! And right now, I'm off to the dance floor! I'm happy for you, Sammy. In the meantime, we'll proceed to color your dream! Mine even tasted like candies. No wonder, Sammy. That's because you eat too many sweets. Yeah, more sweets! Oh, Sammy, you little prankster. You only think about candies. Yep, because that's the best source of inspiration. 
Huh. I never thought about that, actually. <laughs> This is it, guys! Our drawing is finished! looks even better and prettier than my dream was. Oh, you're the best painter of my dreams. Next time, we'll draw more shoe realistic pictures. <laughs> Sammy. Guys, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you liked this video. Bye-bye. <laughs>
I can't believe I didn't realize that. Guys, do you remember the story about the siblings? Trapped in a witch's house made of gingerbread cake and pastries? It's really exciting. La 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 la. I'm a little girl wearing a red hood. Maybe you've got some food? What a deep voice you have. The better to greet you with. What a big mouth you have. The better to eat you with. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy? As you might have guessed, guys, Sammy and I performed a scene from Little Red Riding Hood. And that was awesome! In the meantime, I'm almost done with the trees. We just need more branches. <gasps> What's that? Ugh, Sammy? Wait, is it another clue? Sammy? What else could it be? Do you really think I'd interrupt you without a reason? Hmm, well, I have a guess. Does that arrow have something to do with Robin Hood? And that! That's right! Hey, I've just realized that we finished this stage. And it looks awesome! Do you agree, guys? If yes, don't forget about a thumbs up! Oh no! Where is everything? I clearly remember it was right here! Isn't this what you were looking for? Oh, you're my savior, thanks! Guys, now our forest looks kind of gloomy. Let's make it blossom! For the final stage, you need to secure Q-tips with a rubber band to make this strange bouquet. We'll just dip it in the paint and go tap, 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 <laughs> this way. Hmm, and what if? Yeah, that's a great idea. I gotta write it down so I don't forget it. Hey, Sammy, what are you doing? Making a new list of necessary things for our crafts. Nuh-uh, our painting inspired me to figure out my own fairy tale. Really? I can't wait to hear it. Give us some details. Guys, are you interested too? Then give us a thumbs up. I didn't finish yet, but okay. It is a story about a very cool pink slime. He is a big friend of all animals and loves making crafts. Let me guess. His name is Sam, right? Uh, how did you know? I can read your mind. <laughs> but what about the forest? Well, he meets fantastic creatures traveling across the forest. With? With a great deal of courage. Okay, Sammy, is it just me or... Your fairy tale is missing another character. Maybe a human friend? Oh, yeah, of course. I almost forgot to say it. She's very smart and kind. And just awesome. And her name is Sue, of course. <laughs> Sammy, it seems like your fairy tale resembles our real life. Perhaps. What can I do if our life is like a wonderful fairy with a best friend, everything turns out to be dreamlike. Oh, Sammy, you're so cute. I'm so lucky to have you by my side. In the meantime, we're close to the finish line. Let's just add a few last details to make the whole picture look more complete. Sue, how much time do you need? I'm tired of waiting. Be patient, Sammy. Do you know an old saying? Everything comes to he who waits. And we're done. Wow! Guys, would you look at this? It's just... something! Yeah, I think this is going to be one of my favorites! And it's so easy to make! Sometimes less effort can lead to a great result! Like today! Guys, why don't we have another look at our wonderful painting in all its glory! Oh, this painting is worth being on the pages of the most fantastic fairy tale! Sammy, it's so flattering to hear that! You know, I always estimate crafts honestly and without prejudice! I am a great artist! Do you remember? So I am a competent judge here! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna argue with that! Do you mind me having this painting in my room? I can even help you hang it wherever you want! I'm gonna look at it before falling asleep to have wonderful dreams! Guys, if you liked our craft today, give us a lot of thumbs up! Hit the bell button so you don't miss out on anything! And subscribe to our channel! Bye-bye! Hello, everyone! Are you ready to see something absolutely incredible? Ooh, how interesting! What is that? I present to you a universal summer tool! <gasps> this is amazing! It'll make you 
your white sneakers simply sparkle. Now let me demonstrate. Uh -huh. What's going on hey! here? Sammy, is this my new toothbrush? I just bought it yesterday. <gasps> is that a ripoff? Rangers. No, where are you going? All my potential customers are gone! What do we have here? A black canvas, a toothbrush? Hmm, this might actually be interesting. Huh? Interesting? So I don't get it! Tell me! Huh? Hi, all! We haven't drawn in a while, have we? This video will especially appeal to those who also have a damaged toothbrush like me now. Thanks, Sammy. Oh, come on, Susie! You always criticize my business ideas! And you always take my things without asking. Mm, this one. Let's add a few drops of purple now. Hop. And this spot clearly misses brightness. And uh, this one as well. Hmm, <laughs> this somehow does look like a toothpaste. <gasps> I got it! Sue, we'll be painting with a toothbrush instead of a brush, right? <laughs> That's right. But there's even more to that. And now, look carefully, because we won't be able to repeat it. Wow, this is top-notch, Sue! But I bet we can repeat it! <laughs> All right! Oh, what a clever slime you are, Sammy! Now we need to level the layer of paint like this. Go ahead. Whee! Let's rub it here and a little bit more. <laughs> well, this is fun. Oh, let me paint you too, Susie. <laughs> Sammy, cut it <laughs> out. We'll use more paint to brighten up here and there and to add some accents. The main thing is to paint over this part of the canvas evenly. You know, I just don't get what exactly I was drawing. An abstraction? Hold your horses. <laughs> Soon you'll know everything. <laughs> Oh, it looks like something multicolored is falling down from above. <gasps> I got it! It's a rainbow ring! <laughs> Come on, Sam. Although you are right and there really is water in this picture, it'll be a beautiful deep sea and right on the shore of the sea has grown... A colorful jungle! And no one knows who lives in its thicket. But I'll defeat him! Oh. <laughs> Stop distracting me! <laughs> and now we need to make some horizontal strokes like this. A couple of more smooth movements and we'll no longer need a toothbrush. And then what? Just boring painting with a paintbrush? Well, I wouldn't say that. Just what we need. And now the fun part. They call me a crafter in deep. I'm the king of a slime beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick chicky bum, chick chicky bum. <laughs> a little bit more, and this step is done. Really? Show me what we've got. Three, two, one. Now we have water, land, and this starry sky. Let's keep going. Sammy, hello. Where are you? Sue, where did you go? Hello. Oh, where are you? Susan. Oh, there you are. I just went for some masking tape. With its help, we'll get a beautiful, smooth horizon line. Like this. <laughs> easy peasy. Give me that. There you go. <laughs> uh, no, not like that. We need Samuel Magnifique. Ooh la la, now I'll show you how he's done. Oh, Monsieur Magnifique knows exactly how to draw these. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry, Susie. Don't worry, neither of you spoiled our picture. And with a slight movement, whoosh. Ew, oh, this is such a relief. Thumbs up if you agree, people. And we continue to work with black paint. Obviously, it's night here on the picture. And in the dark, many objects seem just black. What? First a toothbrush, now a sponge? Do we have anything left in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is that we will have this wonderful picture. Oh, by the way, you still haven't said what exactly we're drawing here. Mm, right now, I'm drawing a cute little boat. <laughs> Let's add a shadow from it on the water like this. It's not difficult at all. Mm, Susan, stop avoiding the answer. Whoa! Oh, no. Well, no, I definitely wrote it. Oh, Sammy, you should be more careful. 
Hail to the dub, I know how to fix the situation this time too. If I knew what to draw, I would help you. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> this multicolored splendor actually is a city with many tall multi-story buildings. And this pink skyscraper is the highest of them. Aha! Let's call it some skyscraper! What? It sounds great, right? <laughs> well, then you can draw the windows in it. <laughs> Here, check this out. You just need to do horizontal strokes. And to make the buildings differ from each other, you can do this. Oh, don't teach a master, Susie. This is my skyscraper. I'll think of something. Well, no one doubts about that. <laughs> a door. Simmy, how are things on the other side of the picture? It's fine. I'm not. So many windows. Whoa. Oh, poor little fella. Then I announce a short break. One, two, three. And one, two, one, two, three. Hey, Sammy, how are you doing back there? You know, I was looking at the window of my room and I realized <sighs> there are not so many tall buildings in our city. Well, who told you that I'm drawing our city? Maybe this is where I want to live. Or it's some kind of fabulous place that does not exist yet. Fabulous, you say? Oh, that would be nice. Hey, Sammy, buy a toothbrush. Buy a toothbrush. <laughs> that was just my imagination. What, a bit of the wrong dream, huh? Uh, yeah, let's beat up, Sue, so that I don't dream of anything else. Anything to make you happy. <laughs> Great! We only need to add a few tiny details. This way it'll seem that the picture emits light. We'll add such lanterns here and there along the entire coastline. Are you calling these tiny little things lanterns? I would have never guessed. And what do you say if I do this? And now I'll do this as well. <laughs> what will Monsieur Samuel say? Oh, those reflections on the water are beautiful! Why, thank you, Mr. Great Art Critic. <laughs> Well, let's add light to the boat. All right. And now we'll draw its reflections in the water. <gasps> awesome. Now let's proceed and... <gasps> Who finished this? <laughs> A real master cannot pass by brushes and paints. <laughs> well, thanks. It only remains for me to add a few details here. that Sue is working with a different color now? Then give her a thumbs up! And a finishing touch. Hop, hop. <laughs> Let's draw a few of these things down here on the embankment. And we'll add a few more here, right on the roofs of the houses. And on the roof of the Sam skyscraper, too! No, it's already beautiful as it is. Here we go. Alrighty, Sue is doing the finishing touches, which means soon we can check out our painting! Do I have to ask not to touch my things? Why, I beg your pardon, your things? I'm selling my skyscraper! This painting will hang in my room. It matches the interior. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm looking forward to our next meeting. See you later! And don't forget to hit the bell button! What? Sammy, what happened here? Ugh. Oh. 
just wanted to make a new colorful craft, but it didn't go well. Ugh, everything is falling apart today. Why does this always happen to me? Yeah, listen, maybe you could use a popular technique for calming down, coloring. Uh, please, I can't stand coloring those little mandala-like patterns in this state. <laughs> Actually, I know a slightly different way. Come on. Well, if you insist, let's do that. Hi, everyone. Today, Sam and I are in the mood for coloring. Come on and join us. All right, Susie. Let's see what new things you know that I don't know yet. Oh, Sammy, get ready to be impressed. Whoosh. Ah, you want me to work on the same picture? Okay, then. Not quite yet, actually. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Mr. Great Artist. But why do you need a scalpel? We are going to make a kind of stencil from this sketch. Remember to always be careful with sharp objects, guys, and try to work neatly, of course. There's no need to cut out everything, just the few most remarkable elements. I wonder where this is going. Ugh. Give us a thumbs up if you do too, guys! Okay, the brows, the eyes, and the lips are done. And we don't need this big part as well. Whoop. Now we will simply put our stencil on top of our sketch. This way. Uh-huh! The cutout parts perfectly align with the same elements on the sketch! That's right! And just to be safe, let's secure the whole thing with paper clips. Here we go! Shiver me chatters, I think I got it! Now we're going to simply paint those parts with a brush, right? Well, you've got the point! Only instead of a paintbrush, we'll use this. Shiver me chatters! This is gonna be fun! What do you say about all of these colors? Looking cool, huh? Holy cannoli! Let me come up closer! Alright, you can proceed now, Sue! <laughs> Let's roll! Now, Sammy, check this out! I bet it wasn't as boring for you as simple coloring would have been, huh? Are you kidding me? That was awesome! I wonder what else you've got up your sleeve. Ooh. The next in our coloring workshop is this young lady. Huh, she's too blurry to be colored with the paint roller, don't you think so? You're right. This time, we're gonna do some sketching. The best part of this technique, guys, is that you don't have to be too precise. Just place your marker against the paper and create. Use any colors that you want. switch the width of the lines you're drawing by switching the chisel tip to the brush tip and back. Wow, what knowledge! The chisel tip will work best for the eyebrows if we use it like this. Up, 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 up. We can even add some shades and mix colors. Here we go. Okay, Sue, I want to try to do that too. Ah, what a bright color! Awesome! Ha, ah, I love that! Sammy? Where'd you go? I've got a terrific idea, Sue! Finish that sketch without me! Oh! <laughs> Sammy and his ideas! And there is even more yet to come! Sammy, we're waiting here! Ah, oh, come on, where did he go? <sighs> what? Where did this come from? Oh, sorry, Sue, I had to run to the hardware store. And why exactly did you get this? Please don't tell me that your idea was to paint the walls in your room again. Actually, uh, yeah, the walls do bother me. But that's not the point! Better check this out! Are these watercolors? But I thought we were going with unusual coloring today. Stop being suspicious and make the big paintbrush rainbowy already! Okay, okay. In that case, 
the red color comes first. Guys, you can use any colors you want. While we prefer the Roy G. Biv palette. You know it, right? Well done, Susie. Now just make one nice diagonal stroke. Your wish is my command. Here we go. Guys, would you look at this? Amazing! See? I told you, my idea was brilliant! That's true. I really like this picture. Do you guys? Then give us a thumbs up. But how about something a little bit more complicated? Like a trip to Paris, for example. She built me chadels! Should I go packing? <laughs> no, I'm gonna need your help here. Let's give this girl a remarkable hairdo. We need this. We're also gonna use a sponge brush like this one. And acrylic paint of our favorite colors. By the way, guys, we love painting and coloring. And there are a bunch of videos about that on our channel. Oh, you should totally check them out. Ooh. All right, people, let's get started. The paint should just go straight through the stencil. Light and fast touches will seal the deal. An important thing here is to work sequentially. Sue is doing the very first layer. And I'm gonna make the second one! We'll carefully take the first stencil off of our picture and let it dry. Only after that can we move on to the next step. Roses are red, violets are blue. Slime Sam with a sponge a great picture can do! <laughs> you see? Easy peasy. Nice poem, Sammy. And well done with these clouds and a moon. But we've got to move forward. There are three more layers to go. It must be to fill the wonderful city of Paris in your hair. You don't say, Sammy. Now this little Eiffel Tower will help us finish a few tiny details. And that's it. Watercolors will help us out with the makeup. And voila! A wonderful French lady portrait is finished. Oh, Chandelier! Oh, Chandelier! And if you want over here, then you had better stay with us, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, guys. And here's one more girl without a hairdo so far. What are we gonna draw in her hair? New York, London, Tokyo? <laughs> Actually, this time we'll go with some sparkly glitter. But first, we need to draw the outline of her hairdo with glue. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go get all the sparkles for my secret stash. I know Sammy loves shiny things. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to really be precise here. And by the way, you can make anything else sparkly on this portrait. I'm gonna add some glue on the girl's lips as well. Who's ready to see my precious collection of glitter? Haha! -ha! Wow, Sammy, you really brought everything you had. And note that not everything is pink. Here. <laughs> well, in that case, I want to start with the darkest hue. Here we go. Guys, you know that you can totally follow your inspiration with this craft, right? Oh, yeah. Get creative, and you will get a one of a kind, very beautiful, and sparkly portrait. Susie, do you mind? A little bit over here, and just a pinch right there. I like this type of art. <laughs> Oh, I really like how this portrait turned out. Holy cannoli! But you're not saying that we're done here, right? I want to keep coloring! 
boring. <laughs> there is one more technique that I've been long wanting to try. You should protect your tables for this, guys. Meet our last girl. Ooh, she looks like a girl I knew back in Tibi Daba. Wait a second. Is that all drawn in a single line? Yep, cool, right? Awesome. In a few minutes, we'll try to repeat it in one single line as well. But first, let's prepare this special watercolor paper for the coloring. The secret is not to spare the water, because watercolors really love it. That's why before you start working, you should secure your picture against the table with double-sided tape. And that part is done. Now we're just going to apply different watercolors onto the paper, creating a few random splashes and blots, like this. We'll use a brush to kind of direct the way they smear. Ah, that's a very professional color blending, Suzanne. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's time for my personal challenge. Just make sure that everything's dry before you do this, guys. Why don't we let Sue finish her last piece of art for today? And in a couple of seconds, we will take a look at everything! Uh-huh, yes! I'm taking this one to my bedroom! Hey! one will look good there, too. Well, Sammy, I guess your day was not so bad after all, huh? And what are these all about? Don't you get it? I'm planning what wall we should hang all the portraits on. And you're taking everything to your room? Nope, the glitter girl goes to the kitchen. Come on, will you help me hang them or not? Okay, okay. Guys, thanks for being with us today. Support this video with a thumbs up if you like drawing and coloring just as much as we do. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos with Sue and Sam. Bye-bye, everyone. Golden Grim City lost its colors long ago. Gray streets. Gray faces. <sighs> Even I became gray. Even though I fight it till the last drop of my color, my investigation about the criminal who stole all the colors is in a deadlock. <sighs> I studied these clues like thousands of times, but still couldn't find the trace of this color thief. So many questions left without any answers. Where is he hiding? Who is he? Or she? There isn't even a tiny hint. Oh my better, so many sleepless nights I had because of this investigation. Huh? What's that sound? I guess I'm just hearing things. I am definitely missing something. I almost felt the smell of a gouache. But the color thief slipped away right in front of my nose. Dear Sue, I miss the warmth of your hand and your savvy so much. The sound again. It's like someone dropped the brushes. Indeed! The color thief left new clues! I guess the lady luck came back to me. Hmm, more clues. 
seems like they were left on purpose. What a sly game. These handprints. I can't believe my eyes. This is... Sammy, have you lost something, my dear? I've been thinking that... Your investigation reached... Hmm, a deadlock. That's why I left the clue so you could find me for sure. It was you all this time! I was chasing you! But you have to understand, Sue, that this city needs colors. I can't just let you go like this. So, Detective Sam... What if I offer you a deal? Hmm... Our friendship and the destiny of this city are at stake. I'm ready to hear your offer. I will return the colors to this city, but you will help me paint a masterpiece using just fingers. A painting made only with fingers? Oh, what are you trying to drag me into? But I have no other choice but to agree. <sighs> I know I can trust you, Mr. Sam. Oh. Sammy! Sam, it's time to start painting! Sue, are you sure that we need such a big canvas? <laughs> yes, exactly this size. I'll show you how to draw a picture with your fingers, which you can hang on the wall afterwards. Hi, guys. Today we're doing a bright artistic investigation experiment. Right, and we need acrylic paint and lots of colors to fill the whole canvas. Anna, what are you gonna draw? I'm thinking of painting a bird. Which one? Let's do something unusual. Hmm, a peacock? Unusual enough. Whoa! This is an awesome bird with a huge, bright and fluffy tail! The tail is very important. Actually, we'll begin painting with that part. Sue, you're very smart. Tell me something about the peacocks. Well, since you've started this conversation about tails, I'll tell you that peacocks use their feathers to attract female birds and scare off natural enemies. Huh! Sue, how can such a beautiful fluffy tail scare someone off? Have you ever seen a peacock's tail, Sammy? One second, I need to refresh my memory. We take blue as the basic color. Guys, while Sam can't see, hit the thumbs up button. When he's back, he'll be very happy. Yes, you're right, Susie. You know what you're talking about. Peacocks are blue. What did you say about the enemies? Look, this bird has lots of eyes. Too. Like every animal. And if you look closer... Huh. Holy cannoli, I get it! The eyes are on the tail! Yes, if the peacock is in danger, he puffs up his tail. The predator sees many eyes and gets scared! Brilliant! Guys, what else do you know about these awesome birds? Comment below! And we'll keep painting. It's very easy to do the relief with the fingers. Look! We take three colors at once. Green, blue, and white. Look how beautifully the colors are mixing together! Plus, acrylic paint sets in the shape you left it in. If your paint is too thick, you can dilute it with water. And if it's too runny, you can mix it with talcum. Life hack! You leave the fingerprints very professionally, Sue. They can lead any investigation to a deadlock. Sam, I'm not a criminal. I'm an artist. And artists sometimes are a little careless. For example, when they're thinking about a new painting. Well, we'll see about that. No clue will escape my attention. So guys, the peacock's tail is ready. We'll move on to the best part. Sammy, we start painting the body and head of our peacock. Donuts have nothing to do with that. Ugh, I'm a detective. Donuts make my brain work better. And how is your investigation going? I'm collecting different facts and studying the clues. I'll go interrogate the witnesses. And where will this investigation lead him to, I wonder? Wait, what witnesses? <sighs> he ran away. Oh well, let's finish with the bottom of the tail. Look closely.
We mix dark and light colors, but not completely. We need to make sure that light and shadow are seen clearly. They'll add volume and brightness. Let's add some shades of purple. And applying the paint to the canvas. Just like a cat leaves its paw prints. <laughs> Guys, have you ever painted with your fingers? How do you like doing that? Comment below! The most important thing, don't spare the paint. When the painting sets, it will look voluminous and will shine in the light. Strange thing still, the witnesses didn't say a word. <laughs> and who did you ask if it's not an investigation secret? Gary the snail just moved his eyes. Ginger kept running silently in his wheel and... <laughs> Fluffy was threatening me with his tail. It's just that all of them are my sidekicks. Especially Fluffy. He likes turning over things and leaving his paw prints. Ew, I didn't know you were so sly. <laughs> oh, you painted so much already! By the mozzarella, this peacock will be an awesome addition to our interior. What do you think? Where should we hang it? Hmm, if I were feng shui, where would I hang the peacock painting? <laughs> Tiami, feng shui is not a person. It's a Chinese doctrine. It's dedicated to the organization of your environment. Oh, and I was thinking all this time who came up with such a weird name. It could be translated from Chinese as wind and water, and it's a whole philosophy. Yeah, no, the tail of our peacock looks like sea waves. And this is really water and wind. Who painted feng shui? You always surprise me with your accurate conclusions. <laughs> we only need to draw some details. Will you draw his head? We'll do it right now. Here we can make flatter strokes. Look, you! I also learned a new way of painting. Slime painting. Oh, and you did great! You've almost mastered painting. The peacock is a royal bird. It's time to draw a crown for him. Ooh, right you are. I'll do it with my fingertips so the crown looks thin. Guys, don't forget to hit the bell button with your fingertips so you can get notifications about our new videos. Yes, yes! And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here! The painting is ready. We'll leave it to set. Acrylic paint will dry faster in a warm aired room. Yes, Sammy, you chose a great spot. By the way, how's your investigation going? The case is closed. I found the evidence to prove you're innocent. And where is it? Here, hanging on the wall. You do this masterpiece with your fingers, and this justifies you completely. You agree, guys? Give a thumbs up for Sue and her artistic talent. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye. So the napkin can be a hat! I need to write that down! Oh, what's that? Hmm... Let me see! Bingo! A crumpled napkin! What's going on? <laughs> Why are you throwing napkins? Hey! Sue, don't bother me! I'm really busy here! Oh, really? Busy doing what? My friend from Tibidabo asked me to send him an unusual thing and describe how to use it! And you chose napkins. But why? He has never seen one. But I can't say that they can only wipe stuff. I've already figured out that you can. Wear them like a hat. Or make snowballs in play. Uh-huh. Did you mention drawing? Drawing? How's that? Is it possible to draw a picture with napkins? You can even present it to your friend later. Let's go, I'll show you. I have to see that. Hey, guys. Today we'll draw a picture with paper napkins. We just need to decide what to do this on. A piece of paper is easy. We've done this more than once, so it certainly won't do. Sue, leave this piece of paper alone! I need it for another craft! Okay! Foil? An interesting option! But still no, the foil is too stiff for the napkins. Holy cannoli! Awesome! Sue, give me that! I'll make a ball out of it and play football! 
And I'm gonna call Roger, too! Fabric! Perhaps! Next time we'll definitely do something with it. Sue, you're not easy to please. I'll take that fabric to make… hmm… a coat for myself! Here's what we need! Suitable in size and material! A perfect option! Let me check it out! Well, well, well! Nothing can be done without my approval! Looks good! In the meantime, I'll continue preparations. We need to choose the colors, but there are so many of them! I'm gonna choose everything by myself! We're making a picture for my friend, after all! I won't even argue. We need ten colors. Choose and I'll wait. Here's one! Catch it! Hey, Sammy, careful! I caught this paint, but don't throw it anymore! Sammy! I have chosen all the colors that will suit us! We will use all of them! I didn't plan to practice today, much less be a goalkeeper. Good macaroons! I almost forgot! We need gold paint! Okay, we know our colors, so now we need to prepare the brushes. We can't just crumple up the napkins and move them across the canvas. That won't do. I don't know exactly how you're going to use these, but I've made myself a crown! From now on, call me King Sam! And now we need to prepare the canvas. The usual primer won't work. But I have a recipe for my special substance for covering canvases. Sue, you forgot the stirring stick! You're not gonna use your finger, right? Of course not. Thanks, Sammy. I'll be much more comfortable with the stick. Here we go. Oh, I wanted to try doing that myself. Hmm, what are you talking about? I want to make a love potion! I want everyone in the world to adore me! Sammy, everyone loves you! Guys, give our Sammy a thumbs up! And what did we get there, huh? Now we need to cover the canvas with this substance. Here, take a palette knife! It will be convenient to smudge your primer with it! You really are a genius well-versed in artistic tools! With a palette knife, we usually apply acrylic paints and remove their excess. Thinking of paint, I think it's time to apply it! Should I bring the napkins? Don't hurry! First, we need to finish with the preparation of the canvas. Great! Then I will manage to do something secretly! Guys, let's try the primer a little bit. Well, I think that's enough. And now it's time to move on to the next stage. We can finally turn to the drawing part! We agreed that we would draw with napkins, not with a brush! You promised, Sue! Sammy, relax! I'll just indicate where the bird's feather will be located. Feather? What feather? And what bird? I don't get it! You'll see! Don't talk in riddles! Tell me already! We will draw a magnificent feather of a fabulous bird! But first, let's have a little fun. I've prepared this. Are you sure? What if the paint explodes? It will splatter everything around! Nothing will explode. I'm just adding a bit of silicone to the paint. Phew! So you scared me. Experiments are usually my thing! <laughs> Next time you'll be a chemist. Sue, when are we gonna draw already? I can't wait! This way we'll outline the feather's position. Finally! Take the first color! And now we can start drawing! Sue, Sue, I want to participate too! Give me the paint, please! I will be so happy for your help! Choose the paint and repeat after me! I chose dark green! Here we go! It's like making paintings out of epoxy resin, right? This is gonna be so much fun! Exactly! We've already worked with resin! Watch the video on the channel! We should do that again! Here comes the pink! Check out what I've got here! What a beautiful color, Sammy! By the way, we have just two colors left. Here comes a bit of blue. So cool! We just need to moisten them with water a bit. We carefully smudge the paint as if we're fluffing a feather. 
That's right, slowly and carefully. No need to rush. Sue, but you should smudge in both directions. Otherwise, the feather will be crooked. Won't you use them? Of course I will! To shape the tips! Now it's time for this napkin! I like what's coming out so much! Whoa! Where did you learn this? I came up with it myself! Kidding! <laughs> I've seen other people make paintings like this! I've been wanting to draw something like this for a long time, but there was no time! Uh. I want to look at the picture from another angle! It'll be more visible from here! Sue, can you help me? Maybe you'll climb on the chain? Nope! We will draw the core of the feather using it. Watch closely! And we're almost done! Let's proceed to the final stage! So the paint is perfectly dry now. We can continue to turn this into a work of art. We only need to add a few details using this. Aha! You didn't use only napkins, but also a brush! <laughs> I give up. You got me. But in my defense, I drew most of this picture with napkins. And now I'll use the brush to outline the feather's core better. Let a specialist check the details. I think we need to add some paint here. Hmm. And over there. I totally agree. Now I will add some color. Like this. Great! I'm gonna write a letter to my friend and tell him how to use napkins for drawing. Whoa! And I will finish the painting. You want to give it to your friend, right? Let's cover it with varnish so that the paints retain their brightness. Oh, that I can do! No, Sammy. You have to be very careful with the varnish. And you should work really fast. I have no equal in speed control. But if you want to do it yourself, I'll give you a start. One, two, three, let's go! Time's up! Put down the brush and don't touch the painting! Okay! I wasn't going to. We have to wait until everything dries up. Huh? I don't really get why we have to use the varnish. According to my thorough research, acrylic paints don't have to be covered with varnish. Why did we do that? Well, we did it to make the painting shiny. Hmm, I see your point, colleague. Okay, Sue, what's next in our plan? Now it's time to clean everything up. We have several napkins left. Oh, these pattern napkins? Give them to me. I'll send them to my friend. Oh, all right. Yay! Thank you, Sue. You're the best friend. I couldn't have done it without you. Probably. Let's check if everything is dry. Hmm. Yup. And now I want to preserve this painting for my memory. Be right back. I think that was a great shot. Your friend will be very happy with a gift like this. We did a great job. Holy cannoli! You were right. The napkins are a great tool for drawing. Okay, nothing here seems to fit. Ugh, Sam, I need your help! Sue, I changed my mind. I don't want to give this painting away. Okay, okay. Keep the painting for yourself. Just describe to your friend how to create it. I'm gonna write to him now! So, take the napkin, cut them into squares, and make it rain! <laughs> what? Ah! Hey, it was fun, actually! Well, guys, do you like our painting as much as we do? Give us a thumbs up, then! Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned!